All right, y'all. School's just starting back up. It's that time of year. A lot of kids going into college for the first time. So it got me thinking, is getting a college education really worth it? But I still think college is a good tool to help you matriculate into the real world. Coming out of high school, you still, that's a good middle ground. You get to learn about how to be professional, how to have good time management. I, yeah, yeah, I, I, I didn't learn none of that shit. High school, it was 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day, no matter right. what. College, I had some classes that didn't start till noon. Like, nigga, I was going out the night before. You party, you drink, but I don't necessarily yeah, yeah, no, feel no. like you learn those. Oh, no, no, I definitely was fucking. I was just saying, <laughs> I mean, if you ain't catch syphilis twice, you ain't fucking enough in college. Wow. That's how I feel. Like. So you just gonna take it there. Hey, man. It is essential, like, obviously for certain fields. Like, if you are a lawyer, yeah. a doctor, you need to go to school. You need to know what the law says or whatever. I was an artist. I went to school for theater. I just kind of wish I had just decided like to pursue that mm -hmm. at a younger age and been like on my Beyonce shit and thinking I'm fucking fabulous. However, there are a lot of chicks that are not and will never <laughs> amount to anything <laughs> close to Beyonce. That's right. Just, just so like, like, that's one of the things that like I hear all the time is that, oh, you know, Steve Jobs didn't go to college or he dropped out. You yeah. know what I mean? Like Richard but Bronson. Steve but Steve Jobs was working with computers at the age right. of nine to 10. Exactly, so we're talking about a lot of outliers. When we say people like, oh, Jay-Z didn't have to go to school, he was selling drugs. Like, Jay-Z outlier. Every nigga on the street ain't Jay-Z. I mean, for the average person, it depends on what you are trying to do. If you're a doctor, like she said, you gotta go to school if you know you wanna be a doctor. Like, I did not finish because halfway into school, I was going to school to be a teacher, I realized I don't really like kids. <laughs> so this is probably a waste of everybody's time and everybody's money, not for 50 fucking thousand dollars. College costs so much money now. Right. Like, the average kid in 2015 leaves college with at least $50,000 in debt. And when you talk about life experience, how much life experience is worth it? Because when you get out, are employers looking at you like, oh, you got this degree? Or, oh, this other candidate has four years of experience? I didn't spend 50 grand on that because I got scholarships. I started early. It's free money out there. That's, That's another. My sister years. went to a private university. She went to a private Christian <laughs> university. It was 47,000 per semester. And she, ne she doesn't know any college debt. She In the broader scheme of things, most people aren't gonna qualify for enough scholarships to pay their whole college. Most people, 90% of college students have to take out some kind of loan at some point in time in their college And they're going to have some sort of yeah. debt, and is yeah. it worth it? As soon as you graduate, you're thinking, how am I going to pay this off? Why not use that money to maybe start a business or some of it? You don't even need $50,000. You don't to run a goddamn business. However, <laughs> however, if you learn, as opposed to sitting up learning how to write, write a five-page paragraph. If you want real-world skills, it's actually going into a business and learning from the ground up. Because a lot grade. of times, internships can turn into a proper position where you're getting paid and you're actually getting that real-world experience. That's how a lot, of, give you that. a lot of girls in my neighborhood started stripping. They was just going for Couldn't find no internship. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm gonna just go see what it's like. Let me let me let me ask this question. So like I like what you said about like, hey, if you know what you want to do, then yeah, you can go to college and maybe get that degree in that field, right? Yeah. But a lot of kids we know get into college and don't know how, don't have any idea what they want to major. That's what you right? Out. And that's when you're supposed to figure it out. That's what they tell you. You know, you take college as a time to figure out what you want to do for the rest of your life. Yeah. But at this point, is it worth leaving with that much debt just to figure out, oh, I want to do this thing the whole time? I think what people should start doing is think about like in 11, 12th grade, like she said, if you know what you want to do, you need to look at the schools that offer the best degree program in that area that are under $50,000. Like if you just want to be a corporate, you don't need to go to Yale. Take your ass to uh, ITT Tech or whatever one that's not closing and then save $25,000. But, but, but see, businesses, businesses still say, Forbes did a list and businesses still say that the top schools, the top Ivy League schools, they hire more, get hired to the, the Fortune 500 businesses more often. Like, so, that yeah, it only matters if you white, guys. <laughs> if you ain't white, you ain't gotta worry about it. It don't matter what the fuck no, 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 but if you're going to Yale or Harvard or top school, you're going there because you know what you want to do with your life. Most people don't go to those to schools. To find themselves. To find themselves, <laughs> exactly. Like, they're going to Daddy more said marginal. you're going, because I went. Right, like, that's, that's how it works. It, exactly, so that's a different experience. You're not spending that much much money to be like, well, let me figure out if I really like English this much. Like, yeah. it's a the shit needs to start in the 11th and 12th grade. Well, shout out to my high school, because we did that. We we had a guidance did you? counselor. And you turned out yeah. so good. <laughs> had a guidance yeah. counselor. She talked to us in 11th grade and see where we wanted to go. We had to Is pick a major. Is this where you wanted to be? Where? Right I mean, here. When, when, when my motherfucking ass that ain't graduated, Nathan? I took architecture. <laughs> we did AutoCAD and then our internship at a real architecture firm. And it was fun. It was great. That's I, what's I, up. And so what you built so far? Are you built uh, so far? Right? 
wait, wait, wait a minute, nigga. Cause but don't, don't the, diminish. What did I say you break up with a Lego? Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I just say, don't diminish my Lego builders. My shit is immaculate, nigga. They use some of my Legos for the Lego movie. I have you know. So I'm just out here killing it. Some basically. special Legos, yeah. So what if they were the big block or not, Tyree? I don't need that shit from you. I'm the so one with only three prongs on it. That's not necessary. Now you guys are just being the box mean. say two and up. Yo, fuck your bed and fuck that one braid. I don't care nothing about none of y'all right now. Do you think there's a benefit to maybe taking a year off after you graduate high school? Absolutely, yeah. My mama took a year off. I mean, she was pregnant with me, but still, that was her year off. Because college will teach you, like, if you take the right map, you'll learn how to balance a checkbook, you'll learn about finances and the APR, and those are things that you that's need to take. If you take the right math courses. If a, lot you take people, a lot of people don't, a lot of people aren't taking economics, a lot of people aren't taking, and you're not getting that in high school. In high school, you're getting algebra, maybe a little calculus if you're really good at it. I think if you, it depends on what high school you went to. If you know your teachers, <laughs> if your teachers want shit in high school, then you need to take your ass to college and learn how to do basic math at least. Uh, what is the secret? Like, like, is it just about like putting that hard work Finding before, what you or? love. Finding what you love and what you're good at and pursuing that wholeheartedly and like believing so much in that that you just go with. What am I really trying to get out of here besides to hear fuck bitches and get syphilis? I mean. That ain't the only thing I got from college, guys. I got a degree. In what? Business administration with an emphasis on entrepreneurship and a minor in marketing. And th this is also what I think obviously would help a lot, is if they made public education, especially higher education, free. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so many countries around the world make college education free when you go into public school. So like, I don't understand like, why America, being one of the richest countries in the world, can't offer that same benefit to a lot of our kids who are graduating from high school right now. You know why. Yeah. <laughs> rich don't stay rich by giving shit away. <laughs> Even if it's the right thing to do. So. You need a college education. Unless, you know, you want to be a stand-up comedian like to hear, then you know you don't need one. Oh, if you're a two-year degree holder and you're a doctor, Tyria fuck with you, she'll give you a chance. <laughs> she all about the equal opportunity. She obviously doesn't believe that formal education. No, I said depending <laughs> on, I said if you do want to be a doctor, you do. You have to go to school for like eight years, I believe, to go through the re residency and all that stuff. But if you know you don't, then don't. All right, y'all, that was another episode of The Cool. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to All Dev Digital. Let us know in the comments below, do you think college is necessary? Pop the comments, let us know. I'd like to thank all our special guests. Tyree Lane. To hear more. Sherelle Patrice. And I'm John Scarlett. We'll see you guys next time.